Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. Today we're going to be taking a look at the latest LOL miner version 1.47 and its huge improvements to LHR Unlock technology. We thought we've kind of hit the dead end of wall with what we were seeing with the LHR Unlock at about 75% before with the majority of the miners. Now the LOL miner showed us we can go even further and it punched through that wall getting us over 78% on some of my LHR cards. I'm going to be testing this on all six of my primary LHR card models. We have a lot of testing here to cover. So if you haven't already subscribed, don't forget to press down on that subscribe button. Stick with me and let's get started. Looking at the GitHub site for LOL Miner, the latest version at the time I'm recording is 1.47. And the big change in this one is LOL Miner brings you the fastest public ET hash LHR solver, 77.2 to 78.2% on GDDR6 and 76 to 77% on GDDR6X NVIDIA Ampere cards. There's some additional features in here as far as specifying the absolute percentages for the LHR tunes. There's some fixes and some updates too regarding Toncoin, but I'm mostly focused now on the LHR unlock. One of the big requirements though too is you need to use, they're recommending the drivers to use in Hive is 470.103.01 or 510.x drivers. They have turned out to be much more stable in unlock in testing than older drivers. So I actually put driver 470.103.01 on my Hive rig and that's where I'm going to be doing my testing. The big drawback to this though right now is it's a Hive only, it's a Linux only release. So Big up top is note at the moment, this release is Linux only because testing of the new schema of Windows will take us some time. Be patient, please. I do see the results are fantastic in what I'm seeing in Hive. I can't wait for them to come out with Windows and at least seeing that they are available in Hive gives me some confidence that we hopefully will be seeing an update for this in Windows very shortly. For my demonstration today, I'm going to be using a dedicated test rig of all six of my primary LHR card models, except I've actually added a few more LHR cards to it since we've last tested. Let me show you what the rig looks like now. This is my dedicated rig. I have an MSI Gaming X Trio 3060, EVGA XC 3060, a Zotac 3060 Ti Hynix memory, an EVGA RTX 3070 LHR card, another EVGA RTX 3070 LHR, my Founders Edition 3070 Ti, and an EVGA RTX 3070 Ti. That's a further wind card with a beautiful neon. On the lower rack, I have a RTX 3080. This is the EVGA XC3 3080 card. And on the very outside, I have my EVGA RTX 3080 Ti card with beautiful neon. This is all running on an HROC H110 Pro BTC motherboard powered by an EVGA 1300 watt and a Hewlett Packard 1200 watt power supply. So I have plenty of power, which is a good thing because it's almost at 1600 watts. Let's get into our testing. My screen layout for this testing is going to be really simple today. Off to the side of me, you're going to be noticing there's going to be a miner and that's going to be running in a moment. And above me, you're going to see the Hive OS. You're going to see the overclock settings. You're going to see the locked core clock, the memory clock offset, as well as just what I chose to use for a fan. And you're going to want to adjust probably the memory overclock and the fans based on your thermal conditions for your mining rig. You'll also notice up top is the driver. It's NVIDIA version 470.103.01. With that's covered, let's get into our testing. The first card I'm going to be testing is my RTX 3060 V2. I have two versions of this card in this rig. I have an MSI Gaming X Trio 3060 and an EVGA. XC and I'm using a locked core clock of 1575, a memory clock offset of plus 2600 and I was getting fantastic results. 38.4 mega hash, the highest hash rate I've ever gotten for either of these cards before in the past with a 0.349 efficiency. The next card I'm going to be testing is my RTX 3060 Ti. This is my Zotac with Hynix memory so I can't push the memory overclock too hard. And with this card using a locked core clock of 1380, a memory clock offset of 2050, I was getting great results. I was getting 46.6 mega hash. This is the first time I ever got this Zotac card above 45. So it's incredible for me to see it go to 46.6. The next card I'm going to be testing is my EVGAs. I have two of them, the RTX 3070 LHR cards, and they run great and they're very efficient. Using a locked core clock of 1065 and a memory clock offset of 2700, I got fantastic results. I was getting 48.4, once again, my highest hash rate ever on these cards. 
with an efficiency though of 0.444, which was really fantastic. The next card I'm going to be testing is my RTX 3070 Ti's. These cards run great between the Founders Edition and the EVGA for the win cards. It's using a lock core clock of 975 and a memory clock offset of 3000. That's right, now with the GDDR6 memory, I see the thermals right inside the miner. And my thermal temperatures were staying great, never really running much above like 90 degrees, which is fantastic. Using these overclocks gave me a fantastic result. I got 62.5 mega hash at a 0.349 efficiency. The next card I'm going to be testing is my 3080 EVGA XC3 card. And this is a great card. It's on the lower part of my rig. Using a locked core clock of 1380 and a memory clock offset a little bit higher of 3100, I was able to keep the temperatures down and get great results out of it. With this card, I got great results. I was getting 77.5 mega hash. Once again, for the first time, the highest ever with a 0.331 efficiency. The last card I'm going to be testing is my RTX 3080 Ti. This is my further win card. It's given me great numbers before and even now using a locked core clock of 1440 and a memory clock offset of 3100. And with this card, I was getting the best results ever. 94.7 mega hash at a 0.371 efficiency. That's almost rivaling full hash rate RTX 3080 cards. A lot of them after they've been running for a while, they have a hard time keeping over 90 unless you redo the thermal pads. But this card has given me great results. 94.7 mega hash at a 371 efficiency. If I look on the minor screen, I can see this GPU is running fantastic at 86 degrees Celsius. Looking at these numbers and these mining results, it's amazing. It's like kind of shattering the records of everything we've seen in the past. Seeing 38 mega hash on 3060s and almost 95 mega hash running consistent on 3080 Ti's. Off camera, I could push the card and just touch into the 96 range. I don't normally like to run my card so hard, but when I look at my final mining results, I got 38.4 mega hash for my 3060. My 3060 Ti gave me 46.6 mega hash. My 3070 LHR gave me 48.4 with a 0.44 efficiency. My 3070 Ti gave me 62.5 mega hash. My 3080 LHR gave me 77.5 mega hash. And my 3080 Ti gave me 94.7 mega hash on average, again with a 0.371 efficiency, which was fantastic. And how does it compare against some of the other miners? Well, we've just recently covered G Miner and T Rex Miner. So let's take a look. And as you can see, LOL Miner version 1.47 took the lead on every single graphic card, giving me the highest hash rate I've ever seen before on the LHR miners, as well as an efficiency that's as good as all the other miners are providing. So to me, this is a breakthrough. This is a huge jump forward for us. We're getting higher hash rates out of our LHR cards and the sky is the limit. I'm just really, really happy that we're seeing the first step in quite a while with these LHR miners. It's really, really exciting to me. Even though I got great results in the miners, it's always a good idea to go check your mining pool. So I've been mining this for quite a while. I have over 3,000 accepted shares. So looking at Flexpool where I've been mining, I see that I'm getting really good results and it's oscillating. Look at my current effective is 566.7, but my reported is 517.5. So I'm actually overachieving at the moment by about 50 mega hash. That means I'm going to be paid even higher. And at least it gives me some confidence that the numbers reported at the miner are pretty accurate. I must admit, guys, I'm really excited with this one. So two thumbs up for you guys at the LOL Miner team. Great job. I love this new miner, and I can't wait for you to bring it to Windows. I know a lot of us, we love to do Windows mining, whether it's pool or even it's a nice hash. But we're going to be keeping an eye on that, and we'll be covering it. So don't forget to press down on that subscribe button so you're notified as we learn more information on it. And hopefully this video gives you some guidance on to how you can get your highest overclocks using this new LOL Miner for all six of the LHR card models. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up like. I welcome all your questions and comments. Please put them down below. Until next time, I'll see you on the next video. Stay safe. Happy mining.